The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's visit to Pakistan later this month will be their most complex tour ever due to security concerns. William and Kate will visit the country from October 14 to 18. However, tight security means the destinations they are going to will only be revealed on the day. Britain enjoys a relatively warm relationship with Pakistan, a Commonwealth nation that is seen as a vital security partner in the fight against Islamic fundamentalist terrorism. More than 1.5 million people in Britain have Pakistani heritage. A senior royal aide said, What happens in Pakistan matters on the streets of the UK. It's one of the most important relationships that the UK has. Kensington Palace has publicized very few details of the couple's destinations in advance, although it said the visit would span more than 1,000 kilometers, from the capital Islamabad to the city of Lahore, the mountainous countryside in the north and border regions to the west. In a statement, Christian Jones, the couple's communications secretary, said the visit would focus on climate change, access to quality education and security in Pakistan. He said, this will be their Royal Highness's first official visit to Pakistan. Whilst the Duke and Duchess's program will pay respect to the historical relationship between Britain and Pakistan, it will largely focus on showcasing Pakistan as it is today, a dynamic, aspirational and forward-looking nation. This is the most complex tour undertaken by the Duke and Duchess to date, given the logistical and security considerations. The statement said the couple would meet a variety of people, including leaders from government, business and the charity sector, inspiring conservationists and well-known cultural figures and sports stars. William and Kate will also visit programs that empower young people, especially those that give girls and women access to education, and said they looked forward to spending time with young Pakistanis. They will also see how different communities are responding to climate change and are due to spend time looking at the complex security picture of the region. Their five-day visit comes soon after a ten-day royal tour of Africa by the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Prince William and Kate will visit the South Asian country from October 14 to 18, the first official visit by a member of the British royal family to the country since 2006 when Prince Charles and Camilla travelled there. In a statement. William and Kate's communications secretary said that the couple's program will pay respect to the historical relationship between Britain and Pakistan, but largely focus on showcasing Pakistan as it is today a dynamic, aspirational and forward-looking nation. He added, this is the most complex tour undertaken by the Duke and Duchess to date, given the logistical and security considerations. The trip is being carried out at the request of the UK's Foreign and Commonwealth Office which currently advises the public against travel to certain parts of the country. No specific information about the couple's itinerary has been revealed, but a spokesman said the visit will span over 1,000 kilometers, and will take in Pakistan's rich culture, its diverse communities, and its beautiful landscapes. According to a statement released today by Kensington Palace, the tour will see the couple visit organizations focusing on young people and education, and particularly girls and young women. The Duke and Duchess are looking forward to spending time meeting young Pakistanis, and hearing more about their aspirations for the future, a spokesman said. They will also hear about the country's efforts to respond to climate change as well as learning about the complex security picture in Pakistan. Kensington Palace highlighted how Pakistan hosts one of Britain's largest overseas networks, with the British High Commission in Islamabad being one of the UK's largest diplomatic missions in the world. Previously, the Queen visited the country in 1961 and 1997, and Princess Diana travelled there on a solo trip in 1991. When the Cambridge's visit was first announced in June this year, the High Commissioner for Pakistan to the United Kingdom. Muhammad Nafiz Zakaria, said the people of Pakistan warmly welcomed the announcement. He continued, saying that they still cherish and fondly recall the visits by the Queen and described the upcoming trip as a reflection of the importance the United Kingdom attaches to its relations with Pakistan. The two countries enjoy historical links which both sides wish to strengthen further. Kate, Duchess of Cambridge and Prince William are due to fly to Pakistan for an official royal visit on October 14, staying for four days.
This is their first official visit to Pakistan, and according to an official statement from Buckingham Palace will focus on showcasing Pakistan as it is today, a dynamic, aspirational and forward-looking nation. This trip comes just after Meghan, Duchess of Sussex and Prince Harry visited Southern Africa at the end of September. Harry and Meghan's visit was hailed as a success, with a royal source telling Vanity Fair, they and their aides know this tour has to be a success, and everything has been planned meticulously so there is no margin for error. The couple took the time to speak with young people at various charities, with Prince Harry echoing a visit his mother had made years earlier. One charity, in particular, was Waves for Change, a mental health initiative which helps move vulnerable children away from violence in townships by introducing them to surfing. Meghan had tea with Nasli Edros Fakir who told CNN, I think the whole gay town tour has been a relaxed thing and she's pleasantly surprised at the welcome and the niceness of the people. For William and Kate's tour of Pakistan, the official itinerary states the couple will visit programs which empower young people and organizations that help ensure they have the best possible start in life. Access to quality education, particularly to girls and young women is one of the UK's top priorities in Pakistan. The Duke and Duchess are looking forward to spending time meeting young Pakistanis, and hearing more about their aspirations for the future. These sentiments echo those of Meghan and Harry's tour of Southern Africa. Meghan and Harry met with the Justice Desk Initiative, which works to educate and empower people to combat poverty and unemployment. Meghan wore a black and white dress by Maya Miko, a sustainable fashion brand which works with local fabric markets in Malawi and gave an emotional speech to the crowd. She said, May I just say that while I am here with my husband, as a member of the royal family, I want you to know that for me I am here with you as a mother, as a wife, as a woman, as a woman of color and as yourself.